Welcome back to our press preview Sunday papers tonight, of course, with Christina and Matthew. As we head for the Mail on Sunday, smoking gun. Uh, email exposes Blair on Iraq, leaked White House memo, XPM backed war year before it began. Exclusive or does it? Let's take a look at the inside pages because this is examined in more depth on page uh, six and seven there. This is actually from Colin Powell. Um, who was the senior military man uh, at that time of the Bush um, <coughs> government. Um, this is more his assessment, isn't it, and a direct message from number 10? It is more his assessment, but I, I agree with David Davis that this is very damning, actually, because this is clearly based on... It's not, it's not a kind of, ooh, my gut feeling is he thinks this. This was clearly based on major conversations right. that... that, that he and his officials had with Blair and it is very damning he does say Blair will be with us should military operations be necessary not depending on what we find in our oh. investigations oh. not depending on whether or not we, there are any weapons of mass destruction it was oh. Blair will be with us and even Blair will demonstrate that we have thought through the day after the day after means the day after Saddam is assassinated so this clearly demonstrates that the assumption for everyone involved was that there would be unconditional support whatever Bush decided to do in relation to Iraq and I think that is pretty damning. Blair may suggest ideas on how to make a credible public case on current Iraqi threats to international peace. Weapons of mass destruction, we assume. Now, you've written about this in your book, Matthew, what they call cognitive dissonance, which is basically even though you're wrong, you convince yourself that you're right and you therefore fail or actually that the failure isn't accepted and you never learn from that failure. Yeah, you can't see the evidence in an objective way and I think this is a great example of it. Blair committed early. That's what this memo yeah. is corroborating. Um, and so all the evidence that he was looking at from there on in, he was looking for anything that confirmed his belief that they needed to invade and anything that contradicted that was ignored or spun or evaded. And in the aftermath, any evidence that this might have been a mistake, exactly the same process applied. Yeah. What about the WMDs? Oh, well, the reason we haven't found them yet is we haven't had the right inspectors. When the Iraq survey group went in, he said, oh, well, they haven't found it, but that's because the Iraqis spirited them away. And when, no re when no remnants with WMDs, he yeah. finally admitted to it and said, yeah, but we've got rid of a very dangerous And this man. was a shared assessment with George, with George Bush. W. Bush. So it, re it reaffirmed that. It's, it's very interesting to look at the language. Both men used very similar language in the build-up to war. When evidence came out that showed that perhaps this wasn't such a good idea, they were able to evade it in different ways. So it became an ideological mm. commitment, an ID fix. Um, and I think that this confirms, I think, the assessment that many people have made, yeah. that psychologically, Blair and Bush were so pre-committed that nothing could get them out once they had started along that road. But it doesn't take us to anything new. It's, it's a reaffirmation, so. if yeah, you like. Quite. Yeah, quite. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, let's move back to the Observer front page, because we uh, noted there that there's this other story on the left, the splash. Welcome back. More from the Sunday Papers in our press preview with Christina and Matthew. We're going to go to the Mail on Sunday now, which has a smoking gun uh, in an email exposing Blair on Iraq. Um, or is it? If we go on the inside pages to examine this in rather more detail, there's a double page spread, page six and seven, which is not there. There it is. Uh, and this is all to do with Colin Powell, a communique. Um, is it more of a pop gun than a smoking gun? I don't know. Well, um, I think you're right to point out this isn't Blair in his own words. It's Colin Powell saying to the president what he thinks Blair will do. But it bolsters a pre-existing view, I think, amongst many commentators that Blair was committed to this war well in advance of action being taken. And that all the way along, he was assessing the evidence and trying to spin it in such a way as to bolster a decision he had already taken. Within but that framework. But within that framework, but he hadn't revealed to the British people. And mm. I think that pattern continued after war. So he was saying it was about WMD. When WMD wasn't found, he said, it's because the inspectors aren't good enough. Wait for the Iraq survey group mm. to go in. When the Iraq survey group went in, they still didn't find it. Oh, they it. must have moved. He them. said, oh, they've spirited yeah. them yeah. away. Yeah. Mm. When they found no remnants of the weapons, he said, well, forget about the weapons, it's because Saddam was a bad man, he had tortured the Kurds. And we were right to do what yeah. we did. In other words, it, it became an ID fix 
both for Blair and for Bush, and they interpreted everything through the prism of a decision they were already absolutely and ideologically it, committed it, to. It did, but Matthew, I don't think that it, in the first instance it was about evidence in any way at all. I think it was about thinking that Saddam is a bad man and that both Bush and Blair were very committed Christians and they have a very had a very Manichaean view of the universe and they thought this is right this is what we and must they do. That what they, they were believed doing was right. in it. I think they absolutely did. Now it so happened that their shared belief coincided with their political aims in that they wanted a unit well Bush wanted support and Blair wanted to seem like a major player on the world stage you know this tiny country being um, again the special relationship being shored up so there were PR gains from it but I do think they absolutely believed it was the right thing to do and they sought the evidence afterwards and that was you know the, the problem with the whole thing yeah